Oh my gosh, audio is just the craziest thing uh, and the most uh, for easily forgotten piece of uh, recording uh, a live performance or streaming a live performance. Now, if you're going to actually get a signal uh, from your audience at home, you're going to need to mix that sound properly into a mixer that is going to separate the sound from home uh, from the sound going out. Um, otherwise, you'll get audio feedback. The best way to do that, or the easiest way to do that, uh, is to use an auxiliary channel on your board for the signal from the audience at home. So here we have auxiliary one, two, three, four, five, six kind of thing. And so what you can do is you can use an auxiliary channel, the remote audience from home. You'll keep that uh, on a separate uh, channel than, than what is coming in to the auditorium. Uh, and use an auxiliary channel for them, for their signal going out to them, so that they can hear what's coming, uh, what's happening, uh, but not hear themselves, uh, which is what would create feedback. And then you go out from this mixer and into your ATEM Mini. From your mixer, uh, bring your audio in to these two spots here, mic one and mic two. You've got two of them, uh, and you can just, you can simply switch them on here and then also adjust the uh, volume or the gain level when you are uh, listening to your stream from your laptop. That's where you want to monitor your sound and your picture from is the, is the last piece of equipment uh, that is streaming out to um, the world. So without being overly complicated uh, about uh, feedback and avoiding that uh, happening with your audience, your remote audience, you need to set up an audio mix minus uh, and there are a lot of uh, videos uh, that can help you to understand that as well. But using an auxiliary channel uh, to uh, separate uh, the audio uh, coming in from the remote audience uh, and going back out to them uh, with the sound uh, from the performance is, uh, is the way to uh, run your sound. Careful, he's coming!